And of course, a FIFA World Cup final. Tonight, it is the centre of the footballing universe once again. Legends. Icons. Heroes. And me. We're all here for the biggest night on planet football. This is the best FIFA Football Awards 2017. Tonight, the Irish <laughs> London as it plays host to the most <laughs> football. Event of the year for the beautiful game, and we guarantee you all the excitement, clamour, and gossip. Who will be taking home a coveted FIFA? Whatever happens tonight happens right here. Yeah! This is the best FIFA Football Awards 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, time for kickoff. To get us started, it's Stomp. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, 
a man who's cooler than a Tuesday night at Spartak Moscow, Mr Idris Elba. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Wow. Hello, everyone upstairs. Very good. OK, hello and welcome to the best FIFA Football Awards 2017. Yes. This is an event that is being featured all around the world right now. So if you're, if you're watching in South America, hola, como estas? If you're watching in China, ni hao. Thank you very much. If you're watching in Hackney, all right, bruv? Wagwan? <laughs> Easy. Tonight, the great and the good of football have flown into London in the hopes of winning one of these beautiful things. Now, anyone that does win one of these, if you... Please don't drop it on your foot, all right? Because you'll be on the bench. Simple. Uh, tonight, we're giving these beauties to, amongst others, the best male, best female and best fans. Uh, best coach and also the best goalkeeper, to, to name just a few. We'll also re reveal tonight this year's FIFA, FIFA Pro World 11, all right? Now, that is the best 11 players on the planet. That is a lineup of £450 million pounds worth of hair gel. <laughs> now, listen, I am a massive football fan and you know, even for me, it's very important tonight, considering who's here, that I keep it cool, calm, very professional at all times. And look at the lineup, and who's here? It's amazing. <laughs> uh, but, you know, look, the last thing that. Ronaldo, hello, boss. <laughs> Diego. Hi, oh, sir. The last thing these players need is, is me asking for selfies. Can I get a selfie, Neymar? Just, just, <laughs> very, just in there, there you go. <laughs> Fantastic. That one's from my mum. Check that out. Oh, Lionel. <laughs> we go back. Do you mind if I just get one? I know this is just... I'm keeping it professional, guys. <laughs> Listen, don't blame me. Here he is. Ah, that's fantastic. Cristiano, there's... Of course I have to take her. Can I take one very quickly? All right, here's one more. Here we go. Let's go. Is this your son? Yes. Hello, boss. How are you? You look very handsome. Let's all get into this. A family picture. I love it. Check that out. It's amazing. Uh, any Arsenal fans in the building? Thank you. <laughs> Olivia, come on. I've just got... You, you look... Stand up, Olivia. Let's, let's just get this together. Hey! <laughs> Thank you very much. You're a star. Check that out. OK, so like I said, ladies and gentlemen, let's keep this very professional. Ronaldo, on me, Ed. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'll never, ever get to say Ronaldo on my head, ever. OK, so let me tell you about the first FIFA award tonight, named after the legendary Hungarian striker Fenrik Puskas, who scored an incredible... Yes, please. <laughs> he, uh, he, scored, he scored an incredible 84 goals in 85 matches for his country, all at a time when the pre-match warm-up looked like this. <laughs> Good old West Ham, love them. <laughs> the Pushcast Award is given for the most stunning goal of the year. OK, before we find out the winner, please let's look at the shortlist. The 10 best goals of the year, chosen by a FIFA jury of football legends. Stand by, ladies and gentlemen. These goals are awesome. Enjoy. <laughs> Kevin Prince Boateng. Alejandro Camargo. Dana Castellanos. Dembele <laughs> A 
Olivier Giroud. Aviles Hurtado. Manzukic. Oscarine Masaluke. Matic. Jordi Ubula. I mean, amazing goal. I haven't seen goals since I, you know. Uh, uh, don't worry, it's okay. Sorry, don't worry about it. Okay, so listen, uh, before we reveal our winner, okay, let's talk to the guys who actually score goals like that. Over to our roving reporter. She is half Brazilian, she's beautiful, and she's bringing a much, much needed flair to the presenting team. Please welcome Leila Anna Lee. Everybody. <laughs> Harry, you've been the Premier League's top goal scorer two years running and scored two goals just yesterday against Liverpool. But which of those would you have liked to have scored? I think it has to be the goalkeeper with the overhead kick. Um, incredible, incredible goal and the celebration matched it as well. Impressive without a doubt. And now at the rate that you're scoring, do you reckon we'll see your name in that list next year? Hopefully, uh, that's the aim. I'm, <laughs> I normally score uh, tappings inside the box, so maybe not on that list, but uh, no, we'll see what happens. Thank you. Now I'd love to say hello to Chelsea's all-time top goal scorer, Frank Lampard. <laughs> Frank, you have a whole host. I'll wait, shall I? Frank, you have a whole host of wonderful accolades to your name. As a player, what does it mean to win an award on a night like tonight? Oh, it's a huge award. I think it's uh, generally an award voted for by your peers, players around you and managers around you. So uh, anybody that wins an award, even if you're nominated tonight, is a huge achievement. And who would you give the Pushkas Award to? Uh, it pains me to mention an Arsenal player, obviously. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to say Olivier Giroud. I thought it was a fantastic goal, but they were all great. Thank you. <laughs> Conveniently sat behind you is Peter Schmeichel. Now, a goalkeeper... <laughs> A goalkeeper scoring a goal, I mean, that never happens, right? It's been known to happen. <laughs> <laughs> it has. Who would you give the award to? Well, I like the goalkeeper's goal, but I think Giro's goal is special, and that hopefully that wins. Yeah. It was very special indeed. Now, I am heading over to a man that won the Premier League title last season, and due to his incredible success in England, he's been nominated for the Best FIFA Men's Coach Award. I'm casually walking past Maradona, Ronaldo, and Placido Domingo to get my way to... Where is he? Antonio Conte. Hello. <laughs> Antonio. Most managers would be blown away to see any of those sort of goals. What do you say to a player who scores a goal like that for you? No, it, uh, it was a messy. <laughs> yeah. You just tell them it was amazing, which, quite frankly, is amazing. And who would you choose? No, I, 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 I don't understand. <laughs> Which was your favourite goal? 
My favorite goal, but I think uh, Giroud scored a, f- a fantastic goal. Giroud, you've got a lot of support here tonight. A fantastic goal. Can you practice a scorpion kick? How do you go about that? Uh, practicing uh, is a big word, you know, at training you always try to do the, um, the right uh, gesture to put it in the net. But uh, yeah, obviously uh, at that moment I thought uh, I had to do it and obviously I had maximum of luck. And you did, congratulations. Now over to a man who knows a beautiful goal, Neymar Jr. everybody. Beautiful goal looks like. Which was your favorite? Você conhece um gol, gol bonito? Qual foi seu favorito? Difícil, difícil escolher um, um gol só, mas acho que fico com o do Giro. Oh, it's, you can guess what he said, right? It's difficult to choose, but he's going with Giro. Thank you very much. I think I'm going to make someone's day. I don't know if he'll he'll give us a straight answer. Let's find out. Messi, which was your favorite goal? Qual é seu favorito? La verdad que complicado de elegir, ¿no? Pero me quedo con el, el del arquero por lo complicado que es y más que, que lo haga un arquero. Difficult to choose, actually difficult to choose, but they were all absolutely brilliant. Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> Which was your favorite? Bueno, it's, not, it's hard to say one goal. I like Giro goal, but I have, to, I have to give credit to the goalkeeper. He never go forward, and he tried amazing goal too. So both, I think it's great. Thank you very, very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a massive round of applause for, applause for all our Pushkas nominees. Okay. Okay, so here to reveal the winner of the Pushkas Award are two huge stars. One is an Oscar, Tony and BAFTA winner who danced as Velma in Chicago. And the other is a Uruguayan legend who's better known for dancing around centre halves. I'll let you figure out which is which. It's the beautiful Catherine Zeta-Jones and Diego Forlan. FIFA's Pushkas Award is given for a goal that's eye-catching, beautiful, a real standard. Or as we say in Uruguay, que golazo. Or as we say in Wales, well, that's lovely. <laughs> the top three have been voted for by football fans from all over the world. So let's find out who made the final three, and here are the nominations. Dana Castellanos. <laughs> Olivier Giroud. Luke.
Russian. Uh, that's about guy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, first of all, I have to say that it's, a, it's an honor for me, and I'm delighted to, to receive this trophy today in front of legends of football. And um, I just would like to thank the people who voted for me. Um, I would like to, excuse me, congratulate um, the three, like, not the 10 um, nominees who um, scored amazing goals too. And um, obviously I would like to thank my teammates. Without them I couldn't score maybe this goal. And obviously my family. And I would like to say gros bisous to Jad and Evan, my children. They watch me on TV uh, right now. And... Um, <laughs> And I, I also would like to um, dedicate uh, this trophy to, uh, to my dad. Thank you very much. OK, hero. OK, so next up is the prize for the best male coach. OK, and to present the award is who? Last year's winner an Italian manager who won the Premier League with Leicester City. This is, right, this is a, a football fairy tale waiting to be made into a Hollywood movie. And if the producers are out there, I think I'm a dead ringer for this guy. Please welcome <laughs> Claudio Ranieri. <laughs> Good evening. The three coaches nominated this year have all won significant silver over the past 12 months. Quite simply, they have a legend on their own touch lines. Let's look at our managing maestros in action. Massimiliano Allegri. Zinedine Zidane. And the winner is Zinedine Zidane. Primero, my English is very bad. 
es imposible. Entonces lo vamos a hacer un poco en francés y un poco en español. En francés, porque que en fait, avant tout, ce trophée, vraiment, c'est un truc de, de fou. Parce que, parce que ça veut dire plein de choses. En fait, c'est un honneur parce que d'être ici devant tout le monde, devant tous les joueurs. Et c'est vraiment un truc particulier. J'aurais jamais cru un jour que j'allais avoir un truc aussi, aussi beau, aussi important. Donc, je remercie un peu l'ensemble du football, tous les entraîneurs, bien sûr, mais surtout les joueurs. Enfin, tous les joueurs, parce que c'est grâce à eux qu'il qu y a du spectacle sur, les, sur le terrain. Bien sûr, euh, Antonio Massimiliano, c'est un peu de, de vous, parce que c'est aujourd'hui que je l'ai eu, mais vous, vous êtes grand et c'est un plaisir, davvero. Et puis, et puis ma moglie, ma mujer. <rire> Te quiero mucho, porque siempre soy aquí, la familia. Y pues una cosa particular, al final, eh, dar las gracias al Real Madrid, porque me han dado la posibilidad de entrenar a estos jugadores, a este, a este Cristiano, a Luca, Marcelo, Tony y todos los jugadores, gracias a vosotros, porque la verdad, luego tengo a otros dos, dos fenómenos aquí y es un placer. La verdad es que gracias a, vo a vosotros nosotros podemos... Yo he sido jugador, pero al final eso es una cosa particular. Entonces, muchas gracias. Gracias el Madrid y... <ríe> y ya está. Gracias. Gracias. And I would really like to um, thank all the players who have made this possible. This is really a very, very special prize. Thank you very much. Uh, for some of you who didn't understand, he said, I'm a cool guy and I look cool. That's all. Uh, OK, for our next award, please salute. Actually, for our next award, we salute the players who blatantly dive in the penalty box. <laughs> no, no, careful. Goalkeepers, OK? <laughs> to present it is a legendary keeper who is loved by Manchester United fans for so many reasons. No, yes. Uh, they love him because of the five Premier League titles, the three FA Cups uh, and the Champions League, but they love him the most when he spent a season at Man City and they finished ninth. Please welcome Peter Schmeichel. <laughs> Hello, Peter. Hello, I do. Wow. You wow. weren't half kidding when you said that was heavy. It is heavy, isn't oh, it? Oh, my God. But like I said, you know, you're a big guy. It's a big night tonight. And uh, do you think you need these? No. <laughs> They're too small, by the way. All right, don't worry. Yeah. Gone. <laughs> After you. Thank you very much. So the FIFA Best Goalkeeper Award is judged by a panel of legendary goalkeepers. That includes René Riquita, Vito Bahia, George Campos, and I cast my vote as well. Uh, and it's really been an honor to work with these guys, not least because it's the first time that I work with René that he hasn't mentioned that scorpion kick that he did here in London. Remember that? Here in, uh, at Wembley, that made him so famous. At least he didn't mention it more than five or six times. But here are the nominees. Gianluigi Buffon.
Manuel Neuer. And the winner of the best FIFA goalkeeper 2017 is Gianluigi Buffon. Congratulations. Oh. <laughs> now is the well, difficult moment because uh, I think uh, that uh, I have to, to speak in English, but. Um, <laughs> Translator, if you need it. Ah, okay, no, 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 no problem. No, no, no. I, I, I won't try uh, to speak. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, for me, uh, I'm very happy because uh, for me it's a, a great honor to to receive this uh, uh, award at uh, my, my age, and uh, and. Uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm proud of, uh, of it, but uh, I want to say thanks uh, to my club, to my, my coach, to my teammates, uh, because uh, uh, they, uh, they helped me to, uh, to make it uh, uh, possible. Uh, uh, and. Uh, I want to say thanks to all the, the person uh, uh, who voted uh, for me. And uh, I think uh, the, the last year has been a fantastic season for uh, Juventus and a personal season. But uh, it wasn't uh, enough uh, to, to win uh, in Europe. And, uh, for this year, I, I hope uh, that uh, w we can uh, uh, to play better and uh, with the national team and Juventus, because uh, I would like to, to finish uh, with the, 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 the soccer uh, with a fantastic uh, victory, if uh, is possible. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Okay, so now we all know in today's world, from time to time, football is way more than just a game. To quote the Liverpool legend Bill Shankly, some people believe, for, yep, some people believe that football is a matter of life and death, and it is much, much more important than that. Here's a short film to remind us that football is more than just a game.
mascot in the arms of Jermaine Defoe. Such a brave young man. Knockhart, Murray wants it back. Knockhart! Every goal now packed with emotion. Every goal is for his dad. celebrations down the years and this has to rank as one of the most emotional j'ai vécu des moments extraordinaires avec ce monsieur et aujourd'hui il est parti Okay, next up is the, is the Fans Awards, okay? Awarded to the fans, voted by the fans. And tonight we've got fans from Germany, we've got fans from Scotland, we've got fans from Denmark, we've got some Arsenal fans. Let's hear it for the fans, come on. There you go. Okay, this award, it's for them fans who turn up week in, week out, in all sorts of weather, rain, sleet, snow, who suffer the long walk to the toilet, to the guys that suffer the long queue for the drinks. I should know. I should know. I'm one of those supporters. You know that. Your champagne, sir. <laughs> Fair enough. Thank you very much. OK, so here to present the award is a superstar striker, and I'm a massive fan of him. Please welcome Samueto. Gracias, señoras y señores. Es un gran placer estar aquí para presentar el premio a la afición. Aficionados con un sentido de compromiso y pasión por su equipo. Aficionados en todo el mundo votaron por su favorito. Los nominados este año son Celtic FC, Borussia Dortmund y FC Copenhague. Vamos a ver por qué. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I am very pleased to be here to present this year's Fan Award. Supporters with a sense of commitment and passion for their team. Fans from all over the world voted for their favorite. The nominations this year are Celtic FC, Borussia Dortmund, and FC Copenhagen. Let's see why. Ahead of their UEFA Champions League home game against AS Monaco, a bomb attack hit Borussia Dortmund's team bus, causing the match to be postponed by a day. Tomorrow we are coming back and we support our team because football is love and football is more powerful than everybody. Borussia Dortmund supporters started a spontaneous campaign on social media, offering shelter to stranded Monaco fans. Friends, friends, friends. I love Dortmund. I love Celtic's final match of the Scottish Premier League season coincided with the 50th anniversary of the club's European Cup triumph. 
The Celtic fans honoured the Lisbon Lions with a stunning 360-degree display around Celtic Park. The Hoops went on to win the match, maintaining their sensational season-long unbeaten record. After winning the Danish Cup final in May, FC Copenhagen players handed the trophy over to their fans. As part of the celebrations, their supporters delivered the trophy into the hands of a wheelchair-bound fan. El ganador del premio FIFA a la afición es... And the winner of the FIFA fan, pri fan prize is... El Celtic FC. Celtic FC. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is an incredible honour. Uh, I want to thank FIFA. I want to thank all the fans who voted for us. But the display that uh, was at the centre of that award was for a team of players who all grew up within a few miles of Celtic Football Club in Glasgow. And they were coached by a man who was a legend. He was born in the east of Scotland and he started his working career going down mines, mining for coal. And he said to us in these days, a club is nothing without its fans. And that philosophy we take to heart and that drives everything we do. So it's on behalf of our fans and all the fans across the world that I accept this honour with great gratitude and humility. Thank you very much. You guys are a tough crowd, you know, that fan joke took me five minutes, guys. <laughs> okay, so before we move on, we want to pay tribute to one of the greatest players to ever grace the pitch. And you know why? It's because it's his birthday. Let's take a look at the great man in action, please. The one and only Pele. Please put your hands together and wish Pele a very happy birthday. Okay. How are you guys doing? Feeling good? Yeah! What a beautiful night. I'm just having so much fun. Okay, so next up is the award for best FIFA women's coach. And here to present it are two people who have letters after their names. She has an MBE and he always gets an OMG. Please welcome Arsenal captain Alex Scott and the Dutch legend Ruud Hullet.
very much. Yes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are delighted to be here to present the award for the best FIFA women's coach. Yes, it's been a fantastic year for women's football, which includes a brilliant European Championships. One, of course, by the Netherlands in a great final against Denmark. Dutch women's football is at the very top of its game. And the men? Uh, can we continue, please? <laughs> I shall. <laughs> the FIFA Best Female Coach Award was judged by a panel of experts in women's football, including double Olympic gold medalist Mia Hamm and the Chinese superstar Sun Wen. And here are the nominations. Niels Nielsen. Gerard Prasure. <laughs> Serena Wiegmann. Okay, and the winner is... Sarina Wiegman. Um, unfortunately, Sarina cannot be here tonight because of tomorrow's night Key World Cup qualifier. But we caught up with her yesterday when she was presented with her trophy by Dutch legend Marco van Basten. You have won the, the best FIFA Women's Coach of the Year award. So, well, I'm really sorry I can't be there tonight, but as you know, tomorrow evening we have a very important game against Norway for the World Cup qualification. Uh, thank you for this award. Um, it's a great recognition that I got this. Uh, but without a team and without the great staff uh, we had uh, during the tournament, uh, we, wouldn't have, have, we wouldn't achieve what we have achieved right now, the European Championships. Um, also thanks to my uh, parents, my mom, my dad, and uh, my family, my husband and my two kids. They're always so supportive. So thank you very much and have a nice evening. Wow. I love that video. You can see the little camera guy in the award. It's so amazing. OK, so next up is the FIFA Award for Fair Play. All right, now here to present it are an awesome double act. One is great at set plays and the other is just great at plays. Please welcome Marseille Desai and Sir Patrick Stewart. It hasn't been mentioned yet this evening, but in Hollywood tonight is the start of the award season. But I can promise you that the Golden Globes, the Academy Awards, the Screen Actors Guild Awards, the Critics' Choice Awards, none of these could have produced the 12-year-old grin that I have had on my face since I came into this room.
since the FIFA award for fair play began 20 years ago, it's been presented to a mix of individuals, teams, fans, football associations, federations, and even entire footballing communities. Judged by a FIFA panel of experts, this award shows more than any other the power of football and its ability to touch people's lives the world over. The Fair Play Award recognizes exemplary behavior that promotes the spirit of sportsmanship and compassion in football. There could only be one winner this year. This man is a true hero. Let's look at his amazing story. On the 25th of February, during a Czech League game against Slovakko, Bohemians 1905's goalkeeper Martin Berkovec collided with his captain, Daniel Kirk. Berkovec was knocked unconscious, his airway completely blocked. Opposition striker Francis Kone was the nearest player to the incident and immediately rushed to the stricken keeper's aid. He had a contact between him and the defender. The tongue is lost. Some, some way here. So I tried to open his mouth. It was very dangerous. Kone's swift intervention saved the day, and not for the first time. Incredibly, in an eight-year career spanning six different countries, Kone has performed life-saving first aid on four fellow footballers. It's for his quick thinking and heroic action that the winner of this year's FIFA Fair Play Award is Francis Kone. The winner of the best FIFA Fair Play Awards 2017 is the amazing Francis Kone. <laughs> Unfortunately, Francis cannot be with us tonight, and to collect the awards on his behalf, there's Mr. Daniel, his friends. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm a family of Francis. I'm sorry, Francis, uh, tonight is not here. <laughs> He's not here. I represent him, and uh, he makes uh, very, very good things uh, to help uh, goalkeeper Bekevac against uh, Bohemians and save his life. And I'm happy to give this trophy to Francis. Thank you very much. Phenomenal. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Andy Cole's in the building. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Big man right there. Okay, up next is the giant of the football awards. It's the FIFA FIFA Pro World 11, aka the best team in the world, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, here to present it is the Honduran striker who played in Italy and a children's author who played the odd football. Please welcome. David Suazo and Frankie Lampard. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It gives us great pleasure to introduce this year's ultimate dream team, an award decided exclusively by fellow professionals. The best 11 players, the best team. Team to be unbeatable. This is the FIFA FIFA Pro World 11 2017.
In goal, Gianluigi Buffon. In defence, Danny Alves. Marcelo. Sergio Ramos. And Leonardo Bonucci. In midfield, Luka Modric. Tony Kroos. And Andres Iniesta. In attack, Lionel Messi. Neymar. And Cristiano Ronaldo. In a world for one night only, they're all here. Please welcome to the stage the best football team on planet Earth. <laughs> Goalkeeper Gigi Buffon. The defenders, Danny Alvarez. Marcelo, make some noise. Sergio Ramos. Leonardo Bonucci! And in the midfield, Luka Modric! Tony Cruz! Joining them, Andre Iniesta! And finally, the awesome forwards, Lionel Messi! A man like Cristiano Ronaldo! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for your world team 2017. Make some noise. Make some noise. Congratulations, gentlemen, congratulations. I'm your new coach, okay? 
Uh, I think what we're going to do is take a photograph. Should we take a photograph? Team photo, let's go. Come on, guys. Make some noise for this team, please. I think we should have the goalkeepers and defenders in the front, maybe. There you go, there you go, there you go. Okay, okay. Okay, guys, this is your opportunity to have a selfie with me. Let's do it. All together now, boys. Come in, man. No, I'm not going to bite you, I promise. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you, gentlemen. Make some noise, please. What a beautiful bunch of legs. Well done. Imagine, imagine that. The guys were supposed to come down the stairs and come this way, but we couldn't quite coordinate the World Eleven. They'll go wherever they want to go, won't they? We are going to ask Cristiano Ronaldo how he feels to be voted into this incredible team, a vote that was, of course, by his fellow professionals. I wonder if who he voted for. Hmm, I wonder who Messi voted for. I wonder who Neymar voted for. I wonder if we can ask them. They should be coming through these doors any minute. Do we know which way they'll be coming? They'll be coming this way, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, welcome back. Welcome back, the World Eleven. Let's give them a massive round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. They went the long way round. We've got no problem with that, Cristiano. I'm going to catch you whilst you're still standing or I'm not. Yes, I am. <laughs> if you'd allow me. Cristiano, how does it feel to win an award like this that's voted by, by your fellow professionals? Great achievement. I saw and feel so proud. It takes many, many hours of work, dedication. So it's great. I'm very glad, you know, to have opportunity to be in the stage 11 times. It's, it's, it's a lot. So... Thank you to people who are voting on me. Thanks. Well deserved. Congratulations. Now, if you come this way with me, Sergio Ramos has won this award a total of eight times. This is now his seventh time. I'm so glad you're back in your seat. Tell us, what's your secret? Bueno, buenas noches. Yo creo que el secreto no deja de ser el trabajo, el sacrificio, el esfuerzo y... Y bueno, no cansarte de ganar, ¿no? independientemente de, de todo eso, pues eh, tener un buen equipo, ¿no? que lo, lo, lo importante en los premios también individuales. Being in an important team, he's saying uh, <laughs> strength and not sacrifice, hard work and not tiring of winning. Not bad at all there. I not tired of winning this lot, not at all. Now, Real Madrid have made their mark on this year's World Eleven. Tony Crows, why do you think that is? Yeah, I think we had a great season. We won big trophies, and at the end, this is the result. But it's not only us, the guys here, it's the whole team, of course. And a fantastic team it is. <laughs> now, Diego Maradona, who is in attendance tonight, once described Marcelo as the best left-back in the world. Winning this trophy surely backs that up. Marcelo, do you feel like the best left-back in the world? We're same thing, deal. I don't need to translate it, he understood. Uh, entendi, entendi. É, não, eu trabalho muito, muito forte cada, cada temporada. É, vindo do, do Maradona é um, é um privilégio, não, o, que ele, o que ele falou para mim, mas isso não, eu nunca deixo subir a cabeça, então eu trabalho sempre para melhorar cada temporada. Working hard every season. He's been working hard every season, he says, and a compliment like that from Maradona means a lot, but he doesn't let it get to his head. He always wants to be better. Leonardo Bonucci. Yes, give him a round of applause. <laughs> now, you're making your debut in the World Eleven. How does that feel? Yeah, it's fantastic, and uh, I am lucky because uh, today I am sitting near... Dani Alves, because look at my, my hands. 
You're nervous too? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for your FIFA Fifth Pro World Eleven. Now, for the first time, fans have been invited to attend the best FIFA Football Awards in person. And not only are they here up the top watching, hello, watching this prestigious event, they've also been given the opportunity to ask questions to their favourite stars. They can ask whatever they want. And I have the questions right here. The first question is for Carly Lloyd. You've had some incredible accolades, two Olympic gold medals and a FIFA World Cup. But Andrew, who's in the upper circle, would like to know, in your opinion, which is your greatest achievement? Um, you know, I'd probably have to say the 2015 World Cup, uh, winning that with my teammates. It had been a long 16 years since the U.S. had brought home that trophy. So um, credit to my teammates and coaching staff. That was definitely a, a memorable one. Congratulations. <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo. Joshua would like to know, what's the biggest key to your personal success? Whew, it's hard. Mm. Of course, talent without work is nothing. Perfect. I'm going to just leave that like that. Thank you so much. Our next question is for Neymar Jr. Now, Emily, who's up the top there, says she took two hours, two cans of hairspray and half a bottle of perfume to get ready tonight. But she wants to know how long it took Neymar. Uh, Emily, um fã lá em cima, falou que levou duas horas, duas garrafas de spray de cabelo e perfume para ela se preparar para hoje. Mas ela gostaria de saber quanto tempo levou você se preparar para hoje. <risos> 20 minutos. Oh, tell the truth. <risos> Fala a verdade. 20 minutos. Sério? Ué, tá bonitão. It, but 20 minutes, apparently. I don't believe a word of it. Shall we ask Danny Alves? How long did it take you to get ready? Let me creep round this way. My apologies. Danny Alves, where did you get your suit from? De onde você comprou essa roupa maravilhosa? E quanto tempo que levou se a preparar você hoje? Mais do que Neymar? Será que Neymar é mais... Certeza, Neymar says he's sure he took longer than Neymar. Quanto tempo que levou para se arrumar hoje? Eu, mais ou menos, 14 minutos, 59 segundos. <laughs> oh, the competitive street, 14 minutes, 59 seconds it took him to get ready today. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a massive round of applause. Fantastic. Okay, so now it's time for some music, all right? Now, these guys are big Leicester City fans, and in fact, their last album was called For Crying Out Loud, which is exactly what they said to Claudio when he left Leicester. Please make some noise for my mates, Kasabian! <laughs> trap oh uh, and all the time you know you know my name you know my name you know my name just settle down you're losing the plot it took you a lot of time to get where you got if i had it all i'd be ten in a week if i had my way be king for a day Wow, what's your bank on me? Well, what's your bank on me? I'm sorry, home, I'm sorry, but it's far too late. I'm trying to start a war. I heard it all before. Now go fetch me a milkshake, don't forget the straw. Now, I don't have the time to listen to this. Don't know by now that the point you have missed Look what you got, it's love that it's not Don't care what they say, be king for a day Be king for a day We got to live. You smell a hotel soap, trying to tell your joke. Over and over, just blowing smoke. In the street standard, time after time. The higher the mountain, the higher I come. 
What is the point in trying to pretend? In single file, we queue to the air. Look what you got, it's love that it's not. Don't care what they say, be king for a day. Be king for a day. Take all you suckers and blow you Make some noise for Kasabian! Okay, so before we move on to find out who is going to be crowned this year's king and queen of football, that is best male and best female player, okay, let's take a moment to savor FIFA football highlights of this year. Enjoy. In December last year, the world's best teams descended upon Japan for the FIFA World Club Cup. The tournament featured the champions from each of the six confederations, including European powerhouse Real Madrid and the champions of the host nation, Kashima Antlers. And it was the local favourites who surprised everyone by making it all the way to the final to face Cristiano Ronaldo and company. However, the hosts were eventually overpowered as the Spaniards triumphed 4-2 to secure their second FIFA Club World Cup title in three years. Next up were the future stars of the game who headed to Korea Republic for the FIFA Under-20 World Cup. Fantastic goal for Germany! Can he go all the way? 24 nations began the competition, but it was England and a surprising Venezuelan team who made it to the final. Young Lions edged out Venezuela 1-0 and brought home their first ever FIFA Under-20 World Cup. And finally, the showpiece of the year. The 2017 FIFA Confederations Cup gets underway. The FIFA Confederations Cup in Russia, where the hosts were joined by the six continental champions, as well as 2014 world champions Germany. contested group stage was followed by Germany storming past Mexico in the first semi-final despite Marco Fabian's outstanding long-range shot and in the other semi Claudio Bravo's heroics in the penalty shootout set up a Chile Germany final 
In the end, Lars Stindl's 20th minute strike was all that separated the teams on the night, with the world champions coming out on top once again to cap another fantastic season of FIFA tournaments. OK. It, it, took me, it took me five minutes to get ready tonight. What do you think? You would say that. Of course you would. OK, so listen, it's our penultimate award for tonight, and it's the prize for the best female player, OK? Now, yes, big. Make some noise. Come on. <laughs> to present it is a Japanese playmaker and a German striker. They've got style, they've got skill, but most of all, they've got names that are cooler than mine. It's Celia Sasic and Hid Hidetoshi Nakata. Good evening. Tonight's nominations include a Dutch Euro winner, a true captain, America, and a young South American who, at just 18 years, is one of the future stars of women's football. These three footballers really are at the top of the game. Here are the much deserved nominations for Best Female Player of the Year. Castellanos. Martins. And the winner is... Lika Martins. <laughs> Unfortunately, Lika couldn't be here tonight because of a World Cup qualifier tomorrow. But you send us a message. Thank you very much, you all. Um, of course, I want to thank all these people behind me. I'm really thankful for this. Without you, I couldn't achieve this. All the coaches, I'm really happy. And of course, my family is also a really big part of it. They have always driven me everywhere, and without them, I couldn't achieve it. So my dad and mom, this one is also for you. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, she forgot the award. I'll keep that for myself. <laughs> the final award of the evening is here, the best male player. <laughs> and uh, here to present it are two bona fide superstars. Okay, when you look at these guys, you might think, 
World Cup winners, you might think uh, legends, but two words spring to mind when they come on stage, and that's more selfies from me. Please welcome the incredible Ronaldo and Diego Maradona. <laughs> Bueno, Ronnie, te toca a vos. Bueno, buenas noches a todos. Qué lindo toda la familia de fútbol unidos. Y, y nada, pues aquí con Diego, como me hubiera gustado jugar contigo, hermano. <risa> ¿Y a mí? Madre mía. ¿Y a mí? Bueno, vamos a, a ver los nominados para el mejor jugador del año. Bueno, eh, antes de todo quiero decirle a la familia nueva de la FIFA que hoy estamos más unidos que nunca. ¿eh? Para refundar una, una FIFA de fútbol. Por eso... Eh, ¿Ya dijiste lo, lo, la terna? Ya la dijiste la terna, ¿no? ¿Cómo pesa? Pesa muchísimo. Porque... Pero tenemos los... que ver un vídeo antes. ¿Ah, sí? Sí. Pero... A ver, pero, pero escúchame. Eh, si te, eh, hazme así. Te estoy Hace... pegando por abajo. ¡Ah! Era el pie, era el pie. <risa> ok. Yo creo que... Tenemos que ver un vídeo. The nominees. So, no, I think we should start... Cristiano Ronaldo. Ya tenemos. Ahí está. Ya tenemos. Ya tenemos. Eh, a mí me dijeron que tenía que esperar un poquito. Yo dije, bueno, espero un poquito. Estamos listos. Es pesado. ¿Estamos listos? Vamos. And the winner is... Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm going to speak first in Portuguese and after I will say some words in English. Bom, em primeiro lugar, agradecer aos meus companheiros, a minha equipa, Real Madrid, os meus companheiros de seleção também. 
foi um ano extraordinário. Um, 11 anos que eu estou aqui no palco, 11 anos. Talento, trabalho duro, muita dedicação e, obviamente, que era algo que eu ambicionava a ganhar troféus coletivos e individuais também. Dar também uma palavra à minha família, que está aqui presente, em peso. Isto é o troféu a vós, os meus irmãos, o meu irmão, os meus amigos, à minha namorada, ao meu filho, à mãe. <risos> Se não levava duro em casa. Agradecer também aos meus dois filhos que estão em casa, a Eva e o Mateu, que há pouco tempo foi pai outra vez, eu vou ser outra vez, mais uma vez, daqui a um mês. E obviamente é um momento único na minha carreira, estou muito feliz. E obrigado a todos. Now I'm going to speak in English. Well, guys, thank you. Thank you a lot, the guys who voting on me, to give a mention, to mention a Leo and Neymar to be here. Real Madrid supporters, my teammates, my coach, my president, they'll support all the year, so I have to say thank you to them. And we are in England for the first time, and, uh, and I win the executive award, so I'm really glad. This is a, a great moment for me. FIFA give opportunity to the, to the fans. I know I have fans all over the world, so thank you a lot for the support. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And uh, I think I say everything. Uh, it's great. It's great to be here around these great players, this amazing player. And uh, I'm so happy, guys. Thank you very much and have a good night. Wow, you, you heard what he said, amazing player. Okay, it's been an incredible night. I, I wish, how long have we got left? Does anyone know? Uh, really? Uh, okay, so it looks like I better wrap it up for tonight. But first of all, London, make some noise for FIFA awards here in London, come on. It's an honor. It is an honour. It is an honour. The FIFA Football Awards 2017 and celebrating this wonderful sport and the truly phenomenal talent that are behind it. Thanks for everybody, honestly, everyone that took part, OK? Big congratulations to all the winners, all right? And tonight we're going to leave you with all the best parts of tonight's show, which are just me. <laughs> I'm joking. My name's Idris Elba. It's been a great time celebrating with you. Thank you and good night.
Hello there. We're at the best FIFA Football Awards 2017 inside the Palladium in London, a world-renowned theatre. I'm Charlie Webster, and joining me on our little makeshift studio is Kay Murray. Uh, we were out on the red, uh, the red green carpet. <laughs> I'm getting confused. <laughs> um, earlier today, building up to the excitement of the awards, we've already had the nine awards announced. Idris Elba presented the amazing awards ceremony. Kay, how was it for you, right at the bottom of the? green carpet yeah, you saw it? everybody arrive first it was because that's where you could see the cars pulling up right at the bottom there and then all the fans that had come in and they were saying can you see who it is who's coming here <laughs> so we had all the fans screaming there to my right and then just checking who was coming up trying to catch them because sometimes you'd get two of them coming up at a different side as well just such big names as you see in Lionel Messi Leonardo Benucci oh, Ruth Hollett, yeah <laughs> Carly, Carly Lloyd, Lloyd. Catherine Zeta-Jones, yeah, she's a massive Swansea City fan. Luca Modric, who you were talking to. Yeah, Luca Modric came with his kids and his wife, but he's just had a new baby. He couldn't bring her, Sophia, Where so we were talking baby? about that as well. Maybe back home with the babysitter <laughs> on this one. Gigi Buffon, uh, you just Dana seen Castellanos, there. yeah, you can see us down there on the red carpet. There was Cristiano Ronaldo, there is Neymar. Oh, Harry Kane, all the stars uh, come in, and now we know that. Uh, was it Orla who spoke to... Um, Harry Kane, who was down there. I got to speak to Harry Kane, Harry actually. Kane. Yeah, I, I Diego Maradona. About many things. Uh, Max Allegri, Messi. It was just non-stop, just coming one yeah, after really the other. Was. And sometimes it was. I was thinking, wow, do I stop this guy? Because I can see this guy behind yeah, him and maybe I'll miss him. Diego Maradona at one point. Had Maradona then, at one who point. Who were you waiting for? Messi? Well, when you're the best in the world, you don't wait for anybody. <laughs> so he was like, OK, I've got to go now. Or otherwise, I've got to get inside. Because I think a lot of them had rehearsals, as we saw yeah, them presenting exactly, awards. Yeah. Lionel Messi was coming coming up behind Andres Iniesta and I thought oh I'll wait I'll try and get him let Iniesta go and then Messi was rushed oh, through no, so it was yeah. that one. Oh yeah. my gosh I can't believe yeah. you because also then Cristiano Ronaldo and, and Messi then came up towards us at the top of the carpet and then they just got rushed in but it was it was fantastic to see them and we can reveal who's won the award so okay should we start with our first one um so green carpet was absolutely fantastic the first award was our male coach of the year the best male coach um in the world was this a surprise for you should no we reveal surprise. it yes yeah go. okay it was Zinedine <laughs> Zidane obviously Real Madrid coach and he's won back-to-back -back Champions League titles he was against Allegri and Antonio Conte but I think we all knew that Zidane to was going to win. came in in January 2016. Since then, he's won two Champions League, a Liga title, and all in total, seven titles as well. And it's something you mentioned, Charlie, at the top of the carpet. It's the way that he's been able to get the best out of those mm. players because he's so inspirational to those players himself. So knowing that it's a coach like that, they want to work for him. Exactly, because you see players who, who are incredibly decorated. I mean, arguably, Zinedine Zidane is one of the best players in the oh, world really world yeah Cup, and he's so exactly he's so decorated as a player and sometimes they don't quite make it into the managerial kind of field and especially so soon but he did go I think a bit to the youth academy in Real Madrid yeah. and and like you said you know when we were talking on the green carpet I think it's almost the fact that he is Zinedine Zidane and he's so well liked he's so well respected and Real Madrid are just flying under him and I think he's got such an amazing relationship with the players especially Cristiano Ronaldo he seems to be getting the best at them shall we move on then yes, and go on to it. the uh, best female coach yes Quite Lena Wiegmann yeah. the uh, Netherlands coach in this one she couldn't be there because there's games coming up here now the interesting thing here is we're talking about a, a man like Zinedine Zidane who's definitely been at the forefront here she is with Marco van Basten getting her award in this one they weren't the favorites in the Euro tournament and they ended up going on to win it so to be able to go through a tournament like that to rally those girls and win an award like that was great and you could just see all the girls getting behind <laughs> yeah. her there Marco van Basten obviously a legend of Dutch football giving her the award she was super humble when she received it yeah. i think we've seen a bit of that tonight oh we've seen so much humility tonight i think amongst all the players even the the big big legends that the fans were outside cheering but you just mentioned uh, serena Wiegmann there and they're playing norway tomorrow in a world cup qualifier which is why she wasn't here and i'm, I'm good sure excuse. she was yeah a bit of a good <laughs> excuse that's why she was with all the players and um, but she's done so much for the women's game okay let's move it on then um to the best goalkeeper um, of 2017 in the world. Again, you know, I mentioned Zinedine Zidane as the best manager. For this, to me, it couldn't be anybody but 
Gianluigi Buffon. I think he had good competition, which he makes did, it even, but, you know, even yeah. more so. You've got Kayla Navas, who'd won the Champions League with Real Madrid and obviously La Liga. Mm. Manuel Neuer, yeah, who's yeah. always up there. But Gigi Buffon, I think he's that player that, you know, you know when there's some players that divide people, he's a player that unites and brings everybody, yeah, everybody together. Everybody likes, everybody likes him. him. And he's 39, he's soon to be 40. And I think in his acceptance speech, he, he almost acknowledged that. And I think he's the most, isn't he the most capped player in yeah. Europe. He's and he kind of expect some speech in English as well. <laughs> yeah, he did. And they Amazing. even said, it just Alba said, um, oh, we got a translator. And he was like, no, no, no. I'm going to do this in English. And he did that with our green carpet reporter, Ola, as well. He said, no, I'll answer in English. Yeah, here's somebody that did uh, uh, stop for us. Let's move on to our other award then. Um, It was the Puskas Award, named after Frank Puskas, the famous Hungarian in the 1950s and 60s. This was the best goal of the year. And I thought this one was extremely hard. It was Olivier Giroud, obviously, of Arsenal, who won it. But I thought this was extremely hard. I watched all three goals, and they were absolutely fantastic each one of them but his was like a kind of crazy scorpion yeah like, a, like an improvised scorpion <laughs> yeah, it was. kick as well <laughs> and the ball coming in from alexis sanchez as well in fact many people might not have seen that winning goal you can actually go on fifa's youtube channel to Definitely see that goal look. maybe check it out yeah, it was against so, yeah. crystal palace as well so you can you know google that it was january 1st i think it was yeah there oh you God. go yeah. that's a good way to start a new year <laughs> isn't it with a scorpion kick like that an improvised one as well so yeah Giroud looking very dapper tonight as well it has to be said yeah he really was so we move on then to um yeah he was actually uh, move on to the fan award this was presented by samuel etto who i'm a big fan of i think maybe that shows my age <laughs> i used to love him when i was younger um so yeah it was the fan award and again this is like you uk were on the green carpet and you talked a lot about the fans at the top of our show you know god it seems like hours ago now and i think it's really important what you said about how fans do make the players mm-hmm. they make football it's mm-hmm. not the players it's not the legends it's not football itself it's not, not us talking about it it's the fans who were out there in the cold tonight it looking was. for autographs um so yeah for the fan awards it was celtic, celtic yeah celtic up against borussia dortmund yeah. and also copenhagen and worthy contenders as well but it was for their um their display in the stadium yeah. as they the lisbon lions <laughs> yeah. yeah 360 display celebrating that that european cup achievement back in 1967 and just so great to see because it had been a great season for them as well and obviously they can round things off on what's been a fantastic year with an award like oh, this yeah. and they were up against hefty competition so that and just shows the fans coming well. together there yeah and uh, so the Celtic fans winning that one liked it. And they gave a really nice speech as well. I'm sure you can find it online. It was really nice and, and heartfelt. And, and they really talked about how important the Lisbon Lions were and are to Celtic. Let's move on then to our Fair Play Award. I like this one because who presented it, basically? <laughs> it was Sir Patrick Stewart. I've been going on about him all night. Said he had a grin, actually like interview. a 12-year-old child just walking in the room seeing all those footballers. And I thought, well, guess what? Our Charlie Webster <laughs> had a grin like a 12-year-old child when he was coming up the carpet. But a little talk Thanks, on what guess. the Fair Play Award is actually about. It's when yeah. the players go above and beyond, du- uh, above and beyond the, the duty that mm. they would expect it to be to work for one another and in the in the realms of fair play as well and this guy who won this one certainly deserved it yeah it was francis coney and and we saw some incredible footage of i think we can see it him coming up to the stage with his friend actually daniel who collected the award um i mean he saved i think four players four lives, lives and on this on one the pitch. yeah it's in the czech republic a goalkeeper who'd gone up for a, a, a collision with another player and he's quick thinking he managed to, to pull his tongue out to avoid him swallowing his tongue and yeah it wasn't the first time he'd done it so wonderful stuff from him a worthy winner yeah and I wonder if that actually highlights whether all players should be medically trained I mean first aid trained obviously and because I think we've seen over the last couple of years how important that really is on the pitch you know we forget we, we watch at home but we forget what they're doing out there on the pitch and things happen um, but no it was fantastic and congratulations to Francis Coney um, Moving on to a lighter note, um, <laughs> there was some fantastic entertainment in the London Palladium. Just to give you a sense, we're, we're in the London Palladium, just kind of off yeah, stage, like really, aren't wings. we? Yeah. yeah, we're in like a secret special room. I think this is actually the backstage room. Um, so Stomp 
they performed, we missed it because me and Kay were on um, the green carpet, but they performed inside the London Palladium um, at the very start to open the show before Idris Elba came on to present. I've actually, have you seen Stomp? I've I seen, haven't. Oh, I'm just they're seeing fantastic. this fantastic. I've seen them in the West End. Want to. Yeah, it's fantastic. It just makes you want to stomp your feet all the time. Excuse the pun. So, uh, mu- musically <laughs> as yeah. well. We had Kasabian yeah. and you had a little <laughs> encounter with them at the I top did. of the carpet too. I did. Uh, I think this. They all surrounded me, basically, in, in the green carpet, and they were fantastic. They were signing autographs, and then they kind of gave us a wave on camera, and, um, oh, it was brilliant. And, and I think they really wowed everybody as well. But they're, you know, they're huge Leicester fans, and two, he definitely is. He was on the green carpet, and he was running up to Claudio uh, Ranieri, obviously winning the Premier League for Leicester City. Yeah, and winning the Coach of the Year the award before. But he's yeah. doing really well with Nantes in Ligue 1 now. They're third in the table, so it just shows what a great coach he is. Yeah, it's great to see Kasabian dancing around all the football players there. <laughs> oh, I think they absolutely cool. loved it. And they were really, really good as well. I'm loving their, their outfits. All right, let's move on then. We've got the three big, big main awards. It's the World Eleven, uh, the Women's Player of the Year, and the Men's Player of the Year. So let's go through the... Um, World's 11. Shall I quickly reel yep. them off? Okay. This is your dream 11. Gianluigi Buffon, Dani Alves, Leonardo Bonucci. Oh, here we go. We've got them. Marcelo. And we've got Sergio Ramos, who's won it for a record eight time, which is ridiculous. Andre Iniesta, Tony Cruz, Luca Modric. Have I got everybody? Cristiano Ronaldo. Messi, of course, is up there. And okay, Neymar. And it was fantastic because they all had that amazing picture. Is that your um, dream 11? It's not far off, to be honest. Yeah. Although I see Bonucci there in a back four. He'd usually be in a back three. But I don't mind that one. <laughs> you don't like the formation? Nice no, I'm not too pleased with the formation <laughs> on that one. Uh, I, I wonder if it matches anybody at home. Okay, and move on. We've got two more awards to tell you about. We've got the Women's Player of the Year Award. Again, I to me, I think the, the three were fantastic. Obviously, it was... Carly Lloyd, um, Dana Castellanos, but also it was Leaky Martins, who I definitely think is deserved. She's been compared to Messi, and we can hear it from her now. Thank you very much, you all. Um, of course, I want to thank all these people behind me. I'm really thankful for this. Without you, I couldn't achieve this. All the coaches, I'm really happy. And of course, my family is also a really big part of it. They have always driven me everywhere, and without them, I couldn't achieve it. So my dad and mom, this one is also for you. Thank you very much. She got lucky that they stopped rolling there because she got very emotional at the end. I was actually a little bit upset that I didn't get to see her tonight because obviously she's got that big game against Norway coming up because I would have been speaking to her on the green carpet. Obviously, she's playing for Barcelona now at club level too. And she's got the tricks and the skills, that girl. Oh, she certainly has. If you haven't seen her, definitely, definitely go and have a look at her skills. She's like, there's no wonder she's been compared to Messi. Okay, you ready to move on, Kay? A final one. Drum roll. The men's player of the year 2017 of the best FIFA football awards is... Okay, I'm going to let you announce it. Cristiano Ronaldo. (laughs) And we can hear from him now. Real Madrid supporters, my teammates, my coach, my president, they'll support all the year. So I have to say thank you to them. And we are in England for the first time and uh, and I win the executive award so I'm really glad this is a, a great moment for me FIFA give opportunity to the to the fans I know I have fans all over the world so thank you a lot for the support Cristiano Ronaldo is your best male player of the year. That's the second time he's won it now um, of the best FIFA football awards. He won it last year in the inaugural of these big, the official FIFA awards now. Um, again, obviously, he was against Messi and Neymar. Um, Kay, are you surprised? He's had a fantastic last season. No, not in this one. I think it was definitely going to be his this time around. You just see, so that competition continues all the time between mm. them. Lionel Messi's had a great start to the new season as well, and now Neymar's entering the fray. Oh, yeah. Now he's gone to PSG. He's going to be a standout star in his own right and in the shadow of nobody. But Cristiano Ronaldo, I would say, deserved winner in the end with all the achievements that he'd had this year. And a nice little speech at the end too, in both Portuguese and English. Yeah, and he did a lot of 
thank yous as well. So it's great to see. Um, so congratulations there to Cristiano Ronaldo. Thanks so much, Kay, for joining to joining me out here as well. You did a fantastic job on the green carpet, doing it in in multi languages. Who was your favourite person to interview? Uh, I think it was really nice to catch up with Leonardo Bonucci. To be honest, really? he was super sweet and he was very down to earth and very honest. I probably could have talked to him all night. You got a fantastic interview with Neymar as well, who I'm sure we're going to see so much more of him. Thank you so much for watching us as well. We've really enjoyed your company. It's been fantastic. Congratulations to Lika Martins and Cristiano Ronaldo, who are your best players in the world. So from us at the London Palladium at the best FIFA Football Awards, it's a good night. Thank you. Goodbye.
Et Monsieur Zidane, comment vous vous sentez d'avoir gagné pour la deuxième fois d'affilée euh, le The Best Non, ce n'est pas la deuxième fois, c'est la première fois, mais, mais c'est euh, un honneur pour moi. C'est un honneur pour moi de recevoir ce, ce prix. Je pense que je pense que c'était pas prévu enfin, dans ma tête d'un jour gagner, de pouvoir gagner ce, ce trophée-là. Maintenant, je l'ai. Je pense que c'est euh, beaucoup, beaucoup de travail, c'est beaucoup de... C'est beaucoup de... Oui, de travail, on va dire. Et, et ce, que, ce que je dois dire, c'est surtout remercier mon staff. Parce que, parce que sans, sans, sans mon staff, je n'aurais pas pu, pas pu réussir, réussir. Et puis surtout, euh, remercier le club, le Real Madrid, qui m'a donné la possibilité de pouvoir entraîner cette équipe. Et, et surtout, les, ces joueurs, remercier tous les joueurs. Parce qu'à parce qu l'arrivée, c'est un, une équipe, c'est un groupe. Et, euh, et c'est surtout, je, le, je dois surtout à eux, tout ça. Vous avez tout gagné comme joueur, comme entraîneur. Et quel, est le, quel est le secret de, de la victoire Non, je ne sais pas. Je pense que c'est beaucoup, beaucoup de travail. Je pense que c'est beaucoup de passion aussi parce qu'on parce qu aime ça. Je crois que ça nous procure des émotions incroyables. Je pense que les supporters euh, euh, aiment, aiment, aiment aussi ce sport et, euh, pour ça, pour, parce que ça procure des, des émotions incroyables. Et, et moi, j'ai été joueur. Aujourd'hui, je suis entraîneur, donc je profite à fond de ce, que, de ce qui m'arrive. Et, et voilà, tant que, tant que la passion est là, on va essayer de continuer. Merci. Congratulations, first of all. Uh, quite a special award because it's an homage to the Celtic fans right now, but also to such an important title uh, such a long time ago. Such a beautiful story, right? It's a great story. I mean, uh, Celtic Football Club is all about stories, uh, about the Irish famine, about them coming to Glasgow, about being founded on the grounds of charity, uh, travelling through uh, and, and making the way in the world and then winning this great title in 1967. And this is an award for the fans, but also voted by the fans themselves. I think that speaks volumes about the value that this has for a club, doesn't it? Absolutely. I mean, the... Winning the European Cup in 1967 was a massive honour for the club and I think the fans really wanted to honour them in the 50th anniversary in the best way that they could and they put on a fantastic tribute to them, one that they'll never forget. Thank you very much and congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you. Olivier, comment vous vous sentez d'être là et après avoir gagné Écoutez, je suis très, très honoré pour tout vous dire. Voilà, c'est quelque chose, c'est un moment particulier pardon, pour moi. Recevoir ce trophée qui a, qui a beaucoup de sens à, à, à mes yeux devant des légendes du football, comme je l'ai dit sur la scène, c'est un honneur et faire partie de 
voilà, avoir écrit l'histoire en ayant marqué ce but, et un but qui va rester avec ce trophée aussi que je vais, que je vais chérir. Voilà, je suis très content pour, voilà, pour, pour moi, pour l'équipe aussi qui, qui m'a beaucoup aidé forcément à marquer ce but. Et voilà, j'aimerais le, le dédier à toute ma famille, en particulier mon père. Est-ce que ce type de but, on les, les pense avant ou c'est du réflexe Non, c'est plus instinctif parce que euh, le, le ballon est un peu derrière moi et, euh, et sur le moment, j'estime que la meilleure solution que j'ai pour essayer de mettre, euh, enfin de, de faire une frappe au but, entre guillemets, j'essaye de mettre le talon. La, voilà, euh, frapper avec le talon, euh, enfin sur le côté du pied, ça, ça, c'est quelque chose d'inhabituel. Et euh, je tente euh, de temps en temps des bicyclettes ou des retournées à l'entraînement, mais celui-là, je vous avouerai que euh, là, j'étais, euh, j'étais moi-même surpris quand j'ai vu le ballon rentrer au fond des filets. En plus, barre rentrante, euh, tout était réuni pour que le, le but soit soit superbe. Et bien sûr que j'ai eu aussi moi qui suis très croyant un, un petit coup de pouce du ciel sur ce coup-là. Et comme vous même dites, euh, vous pratiquez de temps en temps ces, ces gens de, de but. Vous les, vous les faites dans les entraînements aussi Oui, alors ce genre de geste, pas vraiment, parce que tu as plus l'air ridicule si tu le loupes. Mais c'est vrai que j'aime bien les gestes acrobatiques. Alors après, il y a, dans ce geste-là, il y, a, il y a de la réussite, bien sûr, il y a de la chance, mais il y a aussi le fait de... Après, il faut trouver le bon équilibre et puis... Le, et puis il euh, faut être souple aussi pour tout vous dire donc non je suis, je suis très content et, euh, et, et je suis fier d'avoir gagné ce, ce titre ce soir Merci beaucoup. Merci. Auguri prima di tutto, eh, l'unico modo da farti vincere qualcosa che non avevi ancora è perché non esisteva, no? Sì, 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 è stata proprio una bella serata, eh, un grandissimo riconoscimento, e sono, sono felice, sono orgoglioso e perché penso e spero di essermelo meritato e, e alla mia età vincere un premio simile è veramente significativo. Allora è un riconoscimento ai portieri in generale, alla prima edizione di questo premio, questo è importante anche per una posizione che non sempre è valutata come si deve forse, no? Sì, sì, sì sicuramente, uh, è importante per tante ragioni, e probabilmente quella fondamentale è il fatto che uh, da adesso in poi, ma secondo me già da qualche anno, uh, si incomincia a percepire il portiere come un ruolo uh, fondamentale e decisivo in una squadra come quello di, di un attaccante perché alla fine uh, sono i due ruoli con uh, le responsabilità maggiori e che spesso e volentieri determinano la vittoria o la sconfitta di una squadra Sei stato scelto pure per i tuoi compagni come il migliore dell'anno del FIF Pro anche questo è bello ad essere riconosciuto de, delle stesse compagni sempre Sì, mi fa devo dire grazie a, a tutti i miei compagni e a tutti i miei avversari che hanno avuto questo gesto molto carino nei, nei miei confronti eh, e come ti ho detto all'inizio eh, penso e spero di essermelo meritato e, ed è bello perché 
vuol dire che il lavoro, lavorare duro, il, il lavorare per migliorarsi e per mettersi sempre degli obiettivi più grandi alla fine ti ripaga. Benissimo, grazie mille, tanti auguri.
Cristiano, segunda edição do The Best, segundo troféu teu, tá começando uma coleção interessante. Hein? É, tenho uma coleção interessante. Não, muito feliz. Muito feliz por ganhar o segundo ano consecutivo, um prémio bonito, um prémio novo. Obviamente agradecer aos meus companheiros, aos meus companheiros do Real Madrid, da seleção, aos adeptos. Um momento histórico, um momento bonito na minha carreira e é momentos que, que há que viver com, viver com intensidade porque um sábado e da manhã e, e estou muito feliz. Quinta vez eleito o melhor do mundo entre todos os prêmios. O que, que isso significa para você, para a tua carreira? Onde que coloca você entre os grandes do futebol mundial? Como já disse, não só por ganhar este prêmio esta noite, mas, como disse, o meu objetivo era criar uma história bonita no, 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 no mundo do futebol e já conquistei, já, já tenho a minha, a minha história. Obviamente ganhar troféus, ser, ser dos jogadores um, com mais troféus individuais da história também para mim é, é um orgulho bastante grande, eu ao par do, do Messi também. E obviamente que é um momento espetacular na minha vida e isto dá-me motivação para, para poder continuar a jogar futebol ao mais alto nível. Quando você para e pensa nessa temporada, qual que é o momento que te vem à cabeça? A vitória na Champions. De novo. Tanto você quanto o Real Madrid continuam a se manter motivados, né? Como? Claro que sim, jogo no melhor clube do mundo. Agora temos o um Mundial de Clubes uh, e, obviamente, é um troféu que queremos ganhar também. Uh, vencemos a Supercopa contra o Manchester, contra o Barcelona. Cristiano, segunda edição do The Best, segundo troféu teu. Está começando uma coleção interessante. Hein? É, tenho uma coleção interessante. Não, muito feliz. Uh, muito feliz por ganhar o. Segundo ano consecutivo, um prémio bonito, um prémio novo. Obviamente agradecer aos meus companheiros, aos meus companheiros do Real Madrid, da seleção, aos adeptos. Um momento histórico, um momento bonito na minha carreira. E é momentos que, que há que viver com, viver com intensidade, porque um sábado e da manhã e, e estou muito feliz. Quinta vez eleito o melhor do mundo entre todos os prémios. O que, que isso significa para você, para a tua carreira? Onde que coloca você entre os grandes do futebol mundial? Já disse, não só por ganhar este prémio esta noite, mas, como disse, o meu objetivo era criar uma história bonita no, 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 no mundo do futebol e já conquistei, já, já tenho a minha, a minha história. Obviamente ganhar troféus, ser, ser dos jogadores um, com mais troféus individuais da história também, para mim é, é um orgulho bastante grande, eu ao par do, do Messi também. E obviamente que é um momento espetacular na minha vida e isto dá-me motivação para, para poder continuar a jogar futebol ao mais alto nível. Quando você para e pensa nessa temporada, qual que é o momento que te vem à cabeça? A vitória na Champions. De novo. Tanto você quanto o Real Madrid continuam a se manter motivados, né? Como? Claro que sim, jogo no melhor clube do mundo. Agora temos o um Mundial de Clubes uh, e obviamente é um troféu que queremos ganhar também. Vencemos a Supercopa contra o Manchester, contra o Barcelona também. É um clube que dá a oportunidade para poder ganhar troféus todos os anos. E obviamente que, que estou feliz. Vamos mudar para o inglês, só a mesma pergunta, tá? O que significa para você este ano, e especificamente para a sua carreira, para ganhar pela segunda vez e para a quinta vez? Bem, para ganhar pela segunda vez and time straight is, it's amazing. It's, it's a new, new award, so I'm really glad, you know, to win again this amazing award. I'm so pleased. Um, I have opportunity to say to thank you to my teammates. Without them, this is, could be possible. But of course, in, individual, in terms of individuals, I'm so proud and so happy. Fifth time, how many are you going to have in total? <laughs> I hope seven is my lucky number. So, but I, I prefer to enjoy the moment. The, mo the moment, it's, it's perfect. So let's see the future. Thank you. Obrigado. Obrigado. Parabéns, Jerome.